followed here? So Penny says to me, she says, David, there's a freaking monster in Times Square. And that's right. She says it all ironically, too. Because she says everything ironically. Because everything's a joke, see? That's how I know it's true. That and the police scanner. Look, of course they're gonna put a lid on this thing ASAP. I mean, they're already doing it. Earthquake, Al-Qaeda, whatever's on the menu today, you know? <laughs> they're cover-up du jour. Never mind that there are tanks rolling up Broadway, F-16s doing barrel rolls over Midtown. Forget the fact that they're blowing 42nd Street to pieces. It'll all end up in the news as ruptured gas pipes or homegrown terrorism, and that's that. But you want to know what's ironic? The real kicker? They feed me real information. They want me to be the voice of this thing. So tomorrow morning, they can take all the grainy photos and the rumors and point to me and my rag and say, Oh, look, the conspiracy nuts are reporting this, so it must be true, right? <laughs> they don't even have to lie. <sighs> They're gonna give me everything I need and silence everybody else. Cause they know, boy do they know, that anyone on the fence, anyone who thought maybe they saw something, don't want to be associated with the conspiracy nut in the laundromat. They just want to do laundry. <laughs> I mean, if you're in here listening to me, if you're reading my magazine, they figure you already know. So the only real question is, how much do you know? And... What are you gonna do about it? Stay clear of the roads. Emergency. <laughs> 
you think anyone noticed? I'd say there's a pretty good chance. Ah, if anyone asks, leaky gas pipes. You've got to be kidding. When have you ever known me to make a joke? Look, I don't make policy, but the way I see it, news of this gets out and it's all over. No more secret handshakes. Is that all you care about? Plausible denial? Well, it doesn't need to be all that plausible. As long as people are given an excuse to ignore this, that's what they want. It's what we want. I've no doubt it's in the dragon's interest too. The dragon wants answers. No, you don't. You want to consolidate power like everyone else. You just use bigger words. Our backyard, our rules. No one is to talk about this. It needs to be swept under the rug. You're going to need a really, really big rug. Oh, bloody convenient, all of you being here, just as... Don't do that, Alex. There's no power without control. And there's no control without mass hysteria. Power is an idea. It shifts. It has to. Haven't you ever confronted an abstract idea? I mean, really confronted it. What? You mean, like credit cards? Where does a thing like that even come from? Now that's a silly question. Where does any dark, slimy, tentacled demigod come from? Manchester? Well, that'd be my guess as well. You nearly made me shit my backup flashlight. Yeah, I see in the news they went with the leaky gas pipe slash terrorist threat. Explains the destruction in the jets, makes people appreciate the army showing up. Allows relief that it was only an accident. Despite having New York's biggest tourist attraction closed down for three months. Yeah, they got this all down the path. Even something this big. They'll have it cleaned up in no time. That's freaking impressive. And I still do their bidding. Publish the truth, give them an out, and be ridiculed for it. But somebody's gonna know. Someone's gonna see. Someone will understand. I have over 300 people signed up for the newsletter. Another 200 for the magazine. It's bound to spread. Somehow. They'll get away with it, of course. But it's a start. You gotta start somewhere, right? And you stopped it, you know. The end of the world. So, I guess it's a good thing. Because it ain't time quite yet. Not quite yet. Slow down, child. Why you rush so sharp, sharp, eh? Delay yourself. Temple Hall has been here for a thousand years. It will perhaps stand a little longer while you take time to breathe in the magics. This is not the London you knew before. The London of brick and mortar. This is her heart, her soul. Let her speak to you through the wind in the trees, the smoke on the air, and the profits on street corners. All you need to do is listen. The Templars, <laughs> they tell you about the power, the magic, and the glory. That is why you're here. The bees, they are anxious. They feel the storm coming. <laughs> but no one was born a hero child. Huh? They got to learn. And the teaching, it comes from all places. Not just the Templars. Not even the blessing of the bees. The truth, it does not come with a fancy office or a tailored suit. The fallen king, now he has neither, but appearances deceive. His words hold deep truth. Remember this well. As for me, I tell you a little truth. It is not about glory or power. Do not run blindly into this war. Open your eyes. And you will find what you search for. Just like the power of the earth 
found you. You be so? Eh, you be so. Knock, knock. No takers. Oh, fair enough. I'm not convinced I can remember how the rest of this one goes. Uh, the gist of it is that the planet doesn't like you. <laughs> Don't expect to be on her recycled paper Christmas card list. I know, snap judgments are hurtful. She's only had a few millennia to get to know us. It takes time for a person's true personality to come out. Ask the Romans. They had a good run. Laid this pretty paint by numbers under your feet and that road too. Ask the stones. A lot of blood and sick and kebab sauce spilt on those stones. They turn up in the strangest places, these Romans, so ask their stones, lay your head down on them, and go the whole milia passum. Not right now, you'd look crazy, and I'd be done for inciting mass hysteria again. Here's what they'll say. Nothing! <laughs> Sorry! Their whole empire meant nothing! <laughs> 